So how are you finding it so far? A round of applause for all our speakers. Are you learning things? Is it making an impact? Now, I haven't really introduced myself at all because I don't think that there's a slide with my name on it. My name is Dave Crane. I've come from Dubai. And it's my experience to share as much as I can about mindset, about what creates success amongst people. Now, today is a very special day because what I want to do is give to everybody the opportunity to have some free money. Who would like some free money? Nobody. Who would like some free money? I've got for you something which may not seem a lot to some people, it may seem a lot to others. I have here 100 real. Now the question is, and this is very much a question about everything to do with the future. Who wants this money? Who would like to take this home, spend it on whatever they want to spend it on, and start making that difference, maybe even spending it on cryptocurrency? Who truly wants this? There you go, 50 each. Give me a round of applause. 50 each. Now, why was that significant? It's significant because we are now going through a fourth industrial revolution. There's a change happening in every single industry that we've never been prepared for. We have a number of people in this room who are aged between 45 and 60 years old. If that's you, put your hands in the air. Your arms are a little tired, I realize that. If you are a millennial and you are aged between, say, 21 and 35, put your hands in the air. A lot more of them. And if you're either one side of it, you should be in bed, or the higher side, then you're interested to see where you fit in. If I haven't mentioned you at all, put your hands in the air and let me see where you are. Because what we have now is a change in every single company. Once upon a time, you had a boss, you had managers, you had supervisors, and you had workers. The trend that's coming is right across the board. Every single person is going to be invited to work in an organization that is flat. The old ways are being thrown out. Similarly, if you're working in an industry where as the boss, you've been around for a long time, you've become very good at what you do, you will be replaced by artificial intelligence, robotics, or maybe even by people who are younger than you and cheaper to employ. If you are younger and you're going to be one of these people who moves into one of those positions, we have a generation that has another problem. And it's not holding a job, it's wondering how you are able to make enough money to start your family. In the UK, a survey was done that said for millennials aged 21 to 35, they will probably only become rich when they are 60, 60, and they inherit from their parents the house that they grew up in. Now this is going to lead to a lot of change. This is going to lead to a lot of fear. I can also tell you, just as a survey, how many people in this room have got a job? Any job? Most people, okay? In the next 20 years, 
47% of the jobs that you know will not exist anymore. And also, in 20 years, 63% of the new jobs that are coming haven't been invented yet. This makes for a lot of opportunity. This also means that if you are of a mindset where you believe in adopting change and making a difference early, you can find success before everybody else catches up. Now those figures might be scary, and to many people, they are. But I can tell you that those figures are very similar to 20 years ago, where the industry changed and people didn't know what was coming next. One thing you can rely on is your ability to understand the way the world is going. There's a guy who is an ice hockey player, one of the most famous of all time, by the name of Wayne Gretzky. Anybody heard of Wayne Gretzky? Wayne Gretzky scored more goals in ice hockey than any other player. And when he was asked what made him so successful, he said he learned to read a game. He learned to understand what was happening and he would go to where the puck, which is the ball effectively that we use in ice hockey, is going next. While everybody else was fighting a battle there, he would be going over there. He also said that he had one bit of knowledge that changed his entire career. He knew that 100% of the shots he didn't take would never score. Now this might get lost in translation, so I'll put it in plain, simple terms. If you don't go out and do something about it, you expect to get zero from life. Now for me, it's very simple. I know what I want from my life. I know that the things that I make as decisions, the choices I make right now, are going to be what drives the success that I truly want to have in the future. I know that, for instance, the time I spend on things, I will never get back again. So I value time, and I value people who value my time. I also know that the own success that I have in my life, I can't blame anybody else for any success that I have. I can't blame the government. I can't blame my spiritual beliefs. I can't blame the people around me. I can't blame my upbringing, my parents. I can't even blame the job market. There's only one person who ultimately you can blame for the rest of your life. And that's you. But let's turn that round. The one person you should trust, the one person you should empower, the one person that you should send forward into the future to take you to the highest levels is you. Now I don't know enough about the people of Brazil apart from the fact that every single person I've met is proud to be Brazilian. Regardless of the money that you have, regardless of the job prospects, regardless of the way the economy is going, you carry a pride I've never seen anywhere. You understand the power of who you truly are. I'd love you to give yourselves a massive round of applause for that. You've taught me a lot in the three days or so that I've been in this country. Now, if you want to really create super success in your life, there's another thing I have to share with you right now. How many people in this room have ever failed in their lives to achieve success in something? Be honest. How many people have ever failed to pass a driving test, get a job interview, maybe keep a relationship going, all those kind of things, everybody, yeah? Is anybody here who's never failed at anything? I will prove to you 
that you have never failed and you will never fail in the future. Would that be useful to you? The reason it should be useful is because when you fail, when you feel like a loser, it takes away your power. Now let me share with you exactly why that's so important. Because whatever it is you're thinking about is a time when you didn't find success. What happens with success is very simple. You have a change to make. You have an event you have to prepare for. You work really hard or you don't work really hard towards that event. And then the event happens. After the event, it could be a driving test, it could be a job interview, it could be a relationship, you get a result. The result might be good, the result might be bad, but it's just a result. It's not a failure, it's just a result. Now what most people don't do is ask for feedback. They don't ask to see what they could have done to change it. When you do ask, you can learn how to change the game. So therefore, you have never failed. All that's happened is you did something and you didn't get the result you want. You can go back and do it again or say, you know what, I'm going to do something different. Does this make sense? So therefore, the question is, have you really ever failed? Because I don't think you have. And if you believe me by saying that you've never actually failed, that means you're never ever going to fail in the future. So there's no need to be scared about making a difference and taking those steps forward. Because what's the worst thing that could happen? You end up exactly where you were before with more life experience. Now, every speaker that's coming on stage is sharing with you from their heart genuinely their life experiences. Our next guest is a man who I admire more than many I've met and I've worked with Kanye West, I've worked with Wycliffe Jean, James Brown, many big names in industries like entertainment. But this fascinates me, he fascinates me. Before I say anything, I'd like you to look up at the big screens I'll come back to you in two minutes' time.